This is Justin Orno for Baseball Rebellion, and I'm going to show you today how to successfully slide step, both quick, and be able to maintain our power. Okay, so today in baseball, many coaches, especially at the youth level, you know, it gets the age where kids can start holding runners, the running game comes into the fold, and kids are taught to slide step. Okay, and when kids are taught to slide step, there's this, this huge emphasis on being fast to home plate. We got to keep the runner close, we got to give our catcher a chance to throw it to second and get the guy out. And what's de-emphasized is, well that's all perfectly great, but I've still got to be able to execute my pitch towards home plate with power, with precision, okay? But if I'm being too quick and I'm rushing and I'm uncomfortable and I got all this like anxiety up here because I'm so concentrated on this runner, well next thing I know I could be 2-0. Now I got to throw a strike. Now this guy hits a double. Now I'm first and third and now I'm in a whole world of trouble, okay? So what I want to show you first is exactly what kids look like commonly. So kids are taught to kind of come set, they check their runners, and their first move looks something like this, okay? So when I'm going to do it again, I want you to watch my front foot. So see how quickly my front foot gets in front of my body? Okay, that's what kids are taught to do, and what happens is as the front foot gets out there quick, my head and my spine get forward, and this leads to rotating horizontally, which as we know, increases stress on the shoulder, and we do not want that, okay? So this is just a byproduct of coaches saying, hey, we gotta be quick, and this must be the quickest route, okay? But what gets lost is being able to maintain our power and maintain, excuse me, maintain our proper mechanics into the throw. So what I'm gonna show you now is how you're gonna set yourself up and perform this slide step and maintain your mass down the mound, create your leverage, and make sure that you're still competitively pitching to the batter while you still got a guy on first base or second base or whatever the scenario may be. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna have you do is when you come up here, I want you just to simply hook the rubber. Okay, which is just I'm anchoring in my back foot. Now I wrote about this on Baseball Rebellion. There's an article that covers it if you're unfamiliar. Okay, so I'm gonna hook my foot here. And what I wanna feel is, I just wanna feel my knee inside my back foot, okay? Another thing is here, I don't really care how wide you are to start or if I'm more straight up, but when you do come set to do this properly, when you come set, I'm gonna need you about feet shoulder width apart, okay? And why is that? Well, what happens is, is when I'm preset here in my back knee, when I go and, I, and I'm gonna lift my knee, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna advise you to do this properly, you wanna just think about lifting your knee two to four inches up off the ground. This is it, okay? So two to four inches, and what's gonna happen is, because you already have the pressure inserted into the mound here, as soon as I do that, my hips are gonna instantly move forward, okay? So this is gonna be a precursor to allow this happen. Now, when you come set, what I have my guys do and my students do here to learn this slide step is I kind of take them through a little drill sequence and all we're gonna do is we're gonna practice come set and we're gonna lift our knee and our foot two to four inches off the ground, okay? And we're gonna go one, two, three, and we go, okay? Now you may notice that my foot extended out from my body, okay? Now this can be more of a relaxation move or you can really emphasize a little bit of a kick. The kick will actually give you a little bit more acceleration from your back knee and hip. And that's the one I would recommend to you, okay? But to do the drill properly, you can get in front of a mirror. You can do it here on the mound, but I would suggest you get in front of a mirror to see exactly how your body's moving, okay? But all you wanna feel is the foot comes up, and as the foot comes up, this knee, this hip will start moving forward, and then the kick portion, the relaxation portion, okay, here as my, as my hips start to drive, accelerates your hip movement down the mound, and also provides time for your hands to break, okay? So, I'm gonna go through a couple here. Uh, I'm gonna come set, it's gonna be one, two, three, and I'm gone. Okay, I'll do it again. One, two, three, and I'm gone. 
Okay, and now I'll go through one full speed here. No build up, no time, and I'm just gonna go right into the pitch. Okay, and that's how it's supposed to look. So this is Justin Orn for Baseball Rebellion. Thank you for listening.